Guys, before I take you out on an adventure today, I just want to say a massive thank you to our friends at Lancaster Insurance. They are supporting us not only to go on Miners on Tour, but to adventure around the UK and beyond for a whole year. So I cannot wait to take you on loads of different adventures in Mary and show you lots of different exciting places that we're heading off to. If you haven't heard of Lancaster before, they're a UK classic car insurance specialist and we're gonna be supplying them with exclusive content throughout this adventure and beyond. So make sure you give them a follow. I've popped the link to their Instagram in my bio and also to their website as well because it's definitely worth checking them out if you need to insure your classic car. So stay tuned because we're about to go on a very exciting adventure in a very special little car called Mary. Hi guys, it's Steph from iDriver Classic and today I'm back in Mary. Now, if you've been watching the channel for some time, you'll remember Mary as the car that came back on the road after many, many years of being off the road in May time, after a week maybe on the road. We took her to Belgium, we took her to France, we took her to Germany, we took her to Luxembourg and we definitely took her for a trip of a lifetime and I'm pleased to say that she's been getting on well so in today's video I'm going to just have a little catch up with you guys, tell you a little bit about Mary and tell you about some of the stuff we've got coming up for Mary over the next few months because she's been on the road a few months now and quite a few have been reaching out and asking how she's getting on so I thought in today's video we could do a catch up and I could tell you everything she's been doing and everything we've got written in the diary. So let's go. Now, in case you haven't met Mary before, I thought it was high time that we did a little introduction before we headed out. So I'm going to show you around Mary as just a bit of a pan around so you can see what she looks like. And for those of you who don't know who Mary is, she's a special little car in our little car family of all the many bangers that we drive. And she has a really nice little story. So Joe's auntie joe's auntie's father so it's quite a tenuous link but stay with me um passed away and he had a morris minor and joe and his family took the morris minor on and said right well we'll get the car back on the road and we'll take it out on a few adventures and the car turned out to be mary now we didn't expect it nobody really expected it but she is extremely reliable and she's been doing really well so she's been on lots of adventures and uh, so many adventures in fact that she's been too busy to stop and do a video as have i so i thought today what we could do is i'll show you around mary so these are some of the places we visited early this year she's been everywhere this year she's been germany luxembourg france belgium she's been everywhere um she's done really well um you'll notice that she isn't concourse but but look, she got rolled pretty much straight out and straight onto the roads with a bit of welding, new brakes, um, a new brake master cylinder. So lots of uh, lots of things that happened in the space of about a week before she headed off to Europe. And she's been doing really well. So I thought in today's video, I'll give you a bit of a brief tour around Mary and then talk to you a little bit about the adventures that she's been on this year um, so far and how that's gone. Um, and some of the stuff that we've got coming up as well, because people keep asking where they can meet Mary or that we can all say hi. And um, I guess the next big date in the calendar for us is probably the BL Autumn Rally which is September the 29th down near Milton Keynes so get that in your diary and um, I think it's high time we headed out in Mary and had a little catch up. Now it's really nice to be back in a Morris Minor because as I'm sure you're probably aware if you're a little bit eagle-eyed and some people have queried me on it um, I have been in a Morris Minor for quite some time and in fact um, I had a bit of a disastrous experience earlier earlier this year in about June time in that I was out in Martha and I noticed that she was losing a colossal amount of oil and I thought oh this feels very familiar and the clutch started slipping and um, I thought I know what this is but I don't want to admit what it is so I took her to the garage and the garage said to me your rear crank seal on the engine has gone and it's a full engine out job um, but I'm going to cut my losses. The engine that's in Martha at the moment has been a bit of a tide me over. So um, at the moment, she's just been off the road whilst we've been saving up for another engine. Um, just saying hello to a mini there. Um, so she's been off the road at the moment while I've been saving up for another engine. And I felt a little bit homesick for Morris Miners actually. And uh, I was telling Joe, and he said, Well, you know what? He said, It's high time you took Mary back out because 
I know that you're missing Aaron, I know that you're missing Morris Minor Life. So I've had the keys chucked at me this weekend until I can sort Martha out and uh, I'm very excited to tell you that I'm back in Mary. And I know some people will be saying, well, that's the price you get for running a Morris Minor on the regular, but I'm very excited to tell you that Jo has been driving Mary quite regularly and um, she's had pretty much no problems at all. So there's a couple of bits that have been done, so a couple of just tweaks here and there, things that needed doing before we went to Belgium, but I mean, look, we had a week, we couldn't get everything done. We had to prioritize safety over cosmetic. So she's had um, new seat webbing put in, which means that we're not, sat on, uh, we're not sat on piles of things and old pillows under the seats to keep them upright now. We've actually got, um, we've actually got proper seats, which means for the first time ever driving Mary, I can see over the end of the bonnet. Um, she's got a bit of uh, she's got a bit of rattle in, uh, from the engine, but I mean, look, what's the point? You know, what's the point in taking off the road prematurely? It's very slight. It's something again. Even though Joe's been driving her a little bit, it doesn't seem to have got much worse. So we've all said the best course of action with this is just to leave it for now. But the one thing that Joe did jump straight on with was the head gasket. So when we came back from Belgium, she was showing some very vague signs of potentially a head gasket failure coming up so just a little bit of weeping just a little bit you know when things just aren't quite right so joe said you know what i'm going to do i'm going to change the head gasket because if you leave a head gasket and if you um if you're not sure on this i'll just do you a little brief explanation if you don't sort a head gasket failure you can end up um causing some real damage you can damage the engine you can walk the cylinder head so sometimes um, it's better just to jump on these things when you notice them straight away and it didn't appear that the head gasket was really up to much and ever since Joe's changed the head gasket it's been absolutely fine so yeah I mean all these people that tell you and I've had people I have people contact me regularly and say can you drive a Morris Minor you know all the time can you take it on great adventures can you do this can you do that yes you can I think people get trapped in this fantasy world or they get project fear put upon them where people say to them you can't drive an old car regularly you can't take it on all these special adventures you can't do all these things but just trust me on this one you absolutely can and I feel like Mary is testament as well that if you see an old car and it's looking a bit sad you should give it a chance because she's honestly performing so well and she's been on so many different adventures and I guess it's now time to tell you about some of the stuff we've been doing with her. And one of the things that people always say is well what do you class as an adventure? What do you class as taking the car quite far? So at the moment Mary is living quite a leisurely life in Lincolnshire and um, she's been all over the UK over the last few months. So she did her grand tour of Europe. Now the plan was, was that she was going to get put into a bit of a hiatus and that she was going to get some of the bodywork done but um, she was just too much fun to drive so she hasn't um, she hasn't had her planned rest as she was going to get but that's what winter's for. So she's been on some great adventures, she's been to the seaside, she's been down to London, she's been to the Ace Cafe, which by the way, if you haven't been to, you should definitely go to, it is brilliant. And if you're abroad, Google it because the pictures are worth looking at. So she's been to the Ace Cafe, she's been to London, and she's been to a few different seaside towns, she's been to the glamorous resorts of Mablethorpe, Bognor Regis, she's been down to Worthing, um, goodness me, she's been to Manchester, she's been to Leeds, She's been to Coventry, she's been, um, we went to Cafe in the Machine, we took her to Cafe in the Machine, um, and we've done a few shows as well because shows are always good fun, especially uh, single mark shows, so we did, uh, in fact it was Mary's very first rally of the year, she went to the Morris Minor National Rally, she did Festival of the Unexceptional, and she did a couple of, she's done a few local shows as well, so she did Thorns Park over at Wakefield, and if you're in Yorkshire, you should definitely look that show up because honestly, it's probably one of my favorite shows of the year. So yes, Mary is having one hell of a summer and we are having the best time with her as well. And I guess as well, it's probably one of the things I like to do when I'm talking to you about Morris Miners is to talk to you about the practicality of ownership. So let's discuss what it's like to own a Morris Miner. For me, Morris Miner ownership this summer hasn't been 
as I planned. I would have liked to have gone on more adventures in Martha. And I know some people will use that as a bit of a stick to beat me with and say, well, you know, that's what you get for driving an old car. But look, I am quite realistic as well. I do a lot of mileage and I could have bought a secondhand engine so I could have enjoyed my summer. But, you know, we're gonna have to take the engine out and I do a 50 mile round trip every day to work in a classic car. So what's the point in buying cheap and buying twice? So I'm saving up this summer. I'm nearly at that point. I think I'll be at the point within the next couple of weeks and um, we'll be getting the engine changed over. So whilst Martha hasn't had the summer that I would have liked her to, in fact, she's just been pretty much parked up. She will be coming back on the road for autumn, winter, and we'll be going on plenty of adventures. So if you've been missing Martha as much as I have, um, she will be back soon, thank goodness, because I'm I just, oh, I really miss being in a Morris Minor and today has really actually made me feel like that. And um, I guess as well, this is kind of a really good time to talk to you about Morris Minor ownership. So I know some of you watch these videos and you're trying to gauge whether you can own a classic car and whether you can use it and whether you can drive it. And look, Morris Miners are a great choice. They're a great starter classic. They are the most expensive car. You can buy something like Mary relatively cheaply for under 3,000 pounds and you can get it on the road, you can enjoy it. You've got near 100% parts availability, especially on your older Morris Miners, on your earlier stuff. So if you're watching in Australia, I'm sorry that your parts availability isn't as good as ours because Australia have got the older Series MM and they've got you know, the earlier Mark IIs and stuff like that. Whereas we've got the later cars, especially your 60s and your 70s Morris Miners, you get, you've got great parts availability. And I think as well, they're pretty good for keeping up with just your town traffic. You can use them on the motorways. Both Joe and I use our Morris Miners on the motorways. And um, one of the things, if I could, I'd like to put Room 101, is people saying that Morris Miners don't go above 50 miles an hour. They do. Um, we can happily keep up at kind of 65, 70. Um, you know, you don't need to be speeding along a motorway to use it. Um, you can use it with relative ease just in the slow lane. And, there is enough power to overtake lorries and to keep up with regular traffic. So realistically, driving a Morris Minor every day is really good. So I'm just going off on a tangent there, but honestly, it's it's great. And I think that it's so nice as well that Joe's been driving Mary regularly because again, classic cars when used regularly are in a much better state, I believe, than cars that are dragged out once or twice a year, especially if you're doing a long drive, because cars don't like being left for ages. They love being being out and being driven. I know some people don't like to drive in winter and that's fine, but yes, um, the summer for me hasn't been as planned, but uh, it's, very, it's very nice to be back in Mary and uh, it's given me even more motivation actually to find the money for that engine and get it back into Martha. So let's talk about what's coming up for Mary and uh, for all of us lot actually. So um, as you've probably realised if you follow me on Instagram or you've been watching some of the videos, I'm very rarely at home and um, there's lots going on. So we've got a few things in the calendar coming up. We've got um, number one is a, a fairly ambitious, um, considering the fact that I can't afford anything at the moment really, is a, a trip to the Isle of Wight. We're, so we've been talking about it for ages and we were like, wouldn't it be really funny to take uh, take Mary to the Isle of Wight? So we're going to try and do that before the end of the year, before the weather gets too bad. Because for those of you who don't know, it's um, it's a little island just off the, off the south coast of England. Um, but it's really pretty, it's really nice and uh, we thought it would make quite a fun video to take Mary on a bit of a road trip. and. Uh, just drive around the island. Now you might think it would be quite cheap to do, but it's actually the most, I think it's the most expensive crossing um, in terms of square foot per, you know, cost um, in the world. It's like, it's so expensive, but we thought it'd be really funny. So we're gonna try and do that. And then in terms of shows, we're gonna be taking uh, hopefully Mary and the Marina and the Metro. So quite a bumper mixer down to the, uh, I think it's, British Leyland Day. I'm going to put a link to the Facebook event in the bio on this video. It's um, it's an event organised by a chap called Tom Morley, who's the chairman of the Metro Owners Club. Now I've been a couple of times. It's a really good event. Um, it's definitely worth going. 
and um, you get to see lots of British cars essentially. So we're going to try and get um, we're going to try and get her down to that. And uh, we've also got the NEC in the calendar, classic car show. Definitely be going to that. And of course, um, we've got other little things coming up. So there'll probably be more trips out to things like Cafe in the Machine. And uh, we've also been eyeing up a visit to the Bubble Car Museum in Lincolnshire because as you know, I'm very much like a mini and a micro car sort of girl. And uh, I just thought it'd be a really good day out. And they've got some driving days coming up. So we're thinking about taking it because it's not too much of a stretch as well. Because it's only in Boston, Lincolnshire and uh, Mary only lives about 45 minutes away from there. So it wouldn't be too much of a stretch for us to take her. But if you guys have got any good show suggestions, if you've got any good venues that we can go and visit, I would love for you to put them in the comments section below because we're always looking for funny adventures and especially around the north of England as well. Um, so if you've got any suggestions, do pop them down. And then um, other than that, I think it'll just be a bit of the daily grind. It'll just be a bit of uh, local pottering around and uh, just enjoying it really. And um, if you've got Morris Money, you should definitely uh, you should definitely bring it to some of those events too because uh, it'd be good to meet some new people, especially younger owners because. Um, we haven't met too many this year and it'd be nice to meet a few more so yeah it's uh, an exciting few months coming up for mary and um no doubt uh, we'll probably we'll probably end up doing a video with her on what it's like to drive a morris minor in winter because she's been so reliable i can't see uh, i can't see joe taking off the road anytime soon very reluctantly it's time for me to say goodbye now hand the keys for mary back to joe and uh, head back to my house but if nothing else it's been good to update your mary and how she's getting on and of course reignite my spark for morris miners and really kind of remind myself why i'm saving up for this engine for martha and get everything into order just a little bit quicker so i hope you really enjoyed this update on mary today if you've got any questions or you've got any suggestions for places that we could go on adventures don't forget to pop them in the comments section below and if you've enjoyed this video as much as i've enjoyed updating you all don't forget to hit like and if you like car videos as much as i do don't forget to hit subscribe because new videos go up every wednesday and every sunday now until next time take care and drive safe safely.